hello hello welcome 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 how are you all doing i hope you are all having a wonderful friday afternoon friday morning now here today we are gonna be taking care of the skin we are gonna do an instant facelift at home now there are many things that you can use on your skin to get your skin to look amazing to plumb the skin up to farm the skin to tighten the skin and also to tone the skin now we're gonna do a live demo today okay yeah, we're gonna try that today. We we'll try something new. All right. So if you notice, I'm on here, no makeup on, basically just plain old me, and I'm gonna take a bit of a mixture that is known to have to tighten and firm the skin. And we are gonna have a ball today, right here on this, you know, decks. We're gonna tighten, lift, and firm the skin. Basically instant now if this is your first time welcome to let's talk skincare with chichi beauty on let's talk skincare what we do we talk about new invention new technology natural homemade stuff ingredients natural homemade remedies that you can use on the skin we also talk about store-bought good ingredients all natural that is out there on the market we touch on basically everything skincare and one of the things that we like to do on this channel we like to search for the new invention and the new ingredients that most of the, like, the high-end brands are using in their skincare products and we just share it with you and sometimes we try to find a simple way for you to get the same result or most very close to the same event in a natural settings now if this is your first time um, a warm welcome to you what we do if you like the topic you give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment feel free to ask questions and that is basically let's talk skincare in a nutshell now I notice a lot of new names on the channel today um, Shahida S H A H I D A welcome welcome to let's talk skincare with Chichi Beauty and I'm doing fine hello Donna Anderson how are you hello Hannah will Yes, we also do shout out on this, especially newcomers. If I see your name, I shout you out and you take I take your question and all my oldies but goodies. I also like to give them a shout out. Hi, Ingrid Wright. How are you? We also have an Irina Burdan. We also have Amina. Amina Romley, always on the chat. Hello, greetings. Sunshine City of St. Martin. We also have um, Dalawar, D-I-L-R, Dilawar. War. D I L A W A R, and first time I'm seeing you on the chat. Welcome. Now, guys, what are some of the ingredients that are great to tighten and firm the skin at home? We have a wide variety which we're going to be using. Now, take a look at what I have here with me today. Here I have, guess what? The good old egg. Now, egg is great for your skin, and I thought that daily how good egg is. I know not all of you use egg on the skin to tighten that skin, but this is awesome. Egg white, you can't miss. You could just crack open this egg right here, burst it, and what you're gonna see is as a matter of fact, if we take our egg right here, right now, and let's let's just do this right now, okay? So we're gonna crack it open, and while doing this, I'm trying to extract the yellow, and my egg didn't burst really good. That's what happened when you're doing live TV, guys. Anyway, let's get this white out. Here, I'm trying to pour the egg white out in my bowl. Oh, keep it, don't drop, don't drop. Just the egg white, and that's good enough. So using egg white on your skin can take your skin to the next level. Definitely lift and firm the skin basically instantly, all right? So wonderful, wonderful. Just take a fork or a whisk and just whisk it up, and you can put this directly on your skin to help to tighten and firm the skin. However, today we are extra on this shot so we are gonna pick it up a notch and we're gonna add other amazing ingredients to this if you're on the chat and you have used egg white on your skin before 
feel free to comment okay comment 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 also if you're on the chat and you try my potato starch and egg white remedy to lift that skin and tighten that skin feel free to comment egg white now for those of you who are vegan out there and you are watching and you're like oh, what about me guess what don't worry i got you covered guys i got you covered guess what i have also take a look at this this is full dessert now if you're out there, what is Fuller's Art? Fuller's Art is a form of a clay, and any clay mask can tighten and firm the skin. You can choose to use green clay, which we talk about in this chat. We talk about purple clay. We also talk about brown clay, you name it, whatever, Moroccan clay. Once it's clay, it's going to have to tighten and firm the skin. We're using Fuller's Art today, but you can go ahead, you can use green clay you could just use any form of a clay and especially if you are vegan and you want to you know just omit that egg go for a clay mask now a wonderful thing that i like about clay mask is the fact that clay mask not only tighten and firm the skin but it is so good when you have those large pores going on and you're looking for like that remedy that is gonna clean those pores out and shrink those pores definitely a clay mask is gonna do that for you all right guys we're moving on if you're just joining in welcome to let's talk skincare today we are gonna be making a tightening facial mask and before the show is over you are gonna see this wonderful goodness at its best we're gonna make it we're gonna apply it and we're gonna leave it on for at least 30 minutes the show is gonna be about an hour long not to worry if you have something to do come back join it but stay with me or just leave it on playing and wait for the part that you are interested in if you're liking the topic and you're liking the change your regular old time watch and you like what we're doing today give the video a thumbs up hello jay dashes how are you elizabeth mika hello 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 linda O'Brien. does it have bags under the eyes yes 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 and guys we are going to take this up another notch because i'm going to introduce an ingredient that we're going to pour in our stuff today that is good for wrinkles and fine lines but guess what you just asked about eye bags it is also good to get rid of the eye bags just shrink those eye bags and it's also good to get rid of dark circles but a Amazingly, overall, the neck, the decollete on your face is going to really do a number. And look what I have here. I know you guys are wondering, what is that? Is that green clay? Unfortunately, it's not green clay, but fortunately, it's good for you. And this is matcha powder. Matcha is an eye concentration of green tea. Now, what makes matcha is the young part of the tea leaf, and they use special tea leaves for the matcha. However, if you are not familiar with matcha, and this is what we do on Let's Talk Skincare, I tell you to go and research it, okay? And look at the many benefits that is has for your skin. No matcha powder, not to worry guys. Go ahead and get yourself some green tea. What you're gonna do with your green tea, you are gonna blend it to a powder. Now, is that as strong as the matcha? Well, no, but guess what? You're still gonna get the good benefit from it. You're still gonna help. It's still gonna help to get rid of the wrinkles on the fine lines. It's gonna help with the eye bags and hello take a look under my eyes i'm a little tired today so i have a little line here going but ah, by the end of the show all of that is gonna be a uh, gone gone hello jason how are you and i just saw someone from jamaica all right lorna albert hi lorna from jamaica watching you live thank you thank you and welcome to let's talk skincare with chichi beauty if you're just joining us today we're gonna do a live demo here for you we're gonna tighten the skin firm lift the skin basically give you giving you an instant botox at home all natural ingredients something that anyone can do in their kitchen and deborah barnett how are you Anne ramal what can i use for cellulite i like to use a lot of stuff for cellulite such as coffee i like to use um 
uh, camphor, not camphor, I like to use Vicks, and all these kind of things mixed together and applied to the cellulite along with massaging the skin. All right, so um, Kawajit, I teach him any remedy for hydrate and plump lift skin in menopause, and guess what? So many of us is at that stage and definitely we want to kick our skin up a notch by having us looking radiant and not looking like oh we're getting old and guess what this remedy today is gonna do just that for you it's gonna brighten the skin it's gonna lift the skin it's gonna you know firm the skin and it's just gonna have you glowing in about a 30 minutes once you have all the ingredients so welcome to let's talk skincare if you're just joining us and you are liking today's topic please feel free to give the video a thumbs up it really helps the channel guys and it really helps this series that's the way i know that you guys like this series but we could continue so right below you're going to see the little thumb going up i mean if you don't like it don't thumb it down it's too much work to put it for you to thumb it down i'm just joking do whatever you want but let me know that you're liking it by giving the video a thumbs up first time on let's talk skincare what we do we talk about skincare we talk about products whether it's natural syntactics you name it we talk about it and also, like today, we are doing a live demonstration on the show. Welcome. Today, we're going to be making a facial mask right in front of your eyes. And if you just missed it, we just break open an egg. And we're going to use that egg white. And there we are. We do some matcha powder. And we also talk about some um, full dessert. Now, guys. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. That's my own song. Because, you know, if you don't, if you sing other people's song, you might get in trouble. What is it? What is this? Anybody could guess what this is? If you're watching and you could tell me what this is, comment, 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 comment. A lot of you is going to get it right and some of you is going to be totally off. But what do you think this is? Mm, I'm not seeing any comments, so I guess I got to move on. And Anyway, this is milk. This is milk, 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 milk. What is milk gonna do for the skin? You are lifting and firming what is milk gonna do. Milk is gonna do a number of things. Milk helps to lift and firm and tighten and clear the skin of spots and blemishes and all kind of hyperpigmentation. The lactic acid in milk do a number. Now milk alone can help to tighten the skin. No joke guys, if you take milk, you wash your face constantly, with milk and when you are finished washing your face on a regular you just do some facial exercises oh i'm not supposed to do it before the thing other than that you guys gonna be like oh the exercise work but anyway milk is awesome guys and if you're looking for a face wash a natural face wash at home this one is good. You can just use some milk and wash your face. And you can use milk and wash your face every day. It's gonna work wonders. For those of you out there, vegan, you don't wanna use milk, a good thing you could use on your face to wash it, but it's a little pricey depending on where you live is coconut water. No joke, get yourself some coconut water and use it and wash your face. It's gonna hydrate that space and it's really gonna have your face looking amazing. If you wear makeup, however, you gotta remove the makeup. And you can also use some coconut 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 oil to remove the makeup now guys here i have a i call this a wash rag what do you call this depending on where you live in the world what do you call this i call this a wash rag once i mentioned washcloth on my channel and someone was like no uh, 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 don't use the word washcloth but for some people depending on where you live this is a, a washcloth, all right? I call it a wash rug, all right? Now, what am I gonna do with this wash rug? I am just gonna tell you guys, before you apply any facial mask to your skin, especially when you're looking to lift and firm that skin, you need to wash your face. And I just mentioned talking uh, milk, 
You can use the milk to wash your face. You can use the milk to do a lot of things. You can even use milk to steam your face. Warm the milk, dip your wash rag in it, place it over your face like that, and leave it on for a couple of minutes. Steam that face with that milk. Amazing. For those of you with pores, blackhead, even for those of you with acne, that is a very amazing remedy for you. Warm milk with a hot towel over your face amazing amazing so i already washed my face but you guys before you do this you need to wash your face and i wish not if you're out there and you have all these ingredients let me recap oh one thing i forget guys look at this not advertising any brand right now so let me just turn it around this is rose water and we're going to use the rose water in our remedy today because it's hydrating okay and it's also gonna refresh the skin you can use rose water alone on your skin or you can use rose water mixed with anything you can use it with an as an estrogen and you can also use warm rose water on the skin if you have not tried that go ahead and try it i know that it's a little pricey if you're going to buy a bottle of rose water to warm and to apply to the skin so guess what get yourself some fresh rose petal no form of a chemical just go in your kitchen steam it up let it cool and wash your face with it just warm enough and you are really gonna be blown away at how amazing I have a friend that is stocking up on rose water these days I went to her house and I noticed a case of rose water little old me didn't even know you could get the case of rose water and I was like what are you doing with all this rose water she said child I watch your channel but guess what I have been using the rose water to wash my face I was like what and she was like yeah and I came home like oh, yes yeah. I warmed that rose water and I use it on my face it's amazing it is really amazing so if you have an abundance of rose water or make it yourself just give that a try it's gonna take it up a notch if you're just joining in welcome to let's talk skincare which is beauty Today we're gonna to be lifting and tightening and firming the skin right here in front of your face. We already went through the ingredients and now we are gonna go back into talking about what we're gonna to make today. Here we have a bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, you like that? You know, you could actually make an ear style, put your hair up in a bum with something like that. Anyway, so the very first thing we are gonna do, we're gonna mix some things together. Here we have the fuller's earth. Now, fuller's earth is very absorbing. A little goes a long way. I have no measurement here today. I just pour some, so I'm just gonna assume that I'm using about uh, a tablespoon and a half or so of the fuller's earth and guess what guys with that fuller's earth i'm going to use some matcha powder matcha powder is highly concentrated so i'm just going to put about mm, about a teaspoon or so give and take of the matcha powder and i'm going to just mix this up mix and dry ingredient together <laughs> you can tell i love a good facial mask okay i really really do so Take a look at this now. And if you're just joining in, we're mixing Fuller's Earth with matcha. Now, guys, if you're using green tea out there, this is where you, you know, mix the two dry ingredients. I forget about you guys in terms of questions and answers and shout outs. So let me scroll all the way down and give someone a quick shout out. Mistress Natoya White, small black spot on my face. They're tiny, not freckles. I'm seeing them. And I guess you are getting on in age. And those probably are little fine warts. And guess who starts seeing them on their skin too? Me. Me. So I'm going to make, you know, Australia. I'm treating myself. I'm assuming that is what is going on. And I'm assuming you're in your 40s, upper 40s, going on 50s or whatever. And those thoughts will you comment and let me know. All right. Hi, Karen Williams. I did finally catch you live. Your skin look amazing. I did the rice mask, but I didn't have all the oils, but I think it still had an effect on my skin. Thanks for all the share. And she's talking about a uh, rice mask. The, um, I'm thinking there's a rice overnight serum that we post a few days ago amazing guys like really amazing if you don't have all the ingredients then definitely give it a go watch it when you're done hello cc how are you and 
Baldiv, DV, love you sis, love you right back. We have um Gracie Sport One, Coca Cola, and what about Coca Cola? We are um, oh Rosewater. <laughs> <laughs> got it got it got it got it all right guys so we are moving on so we now have if you're watching and you're liking today's video give it a thumbs up to let us know that you're enjoying the chat now we have fullest earth and matcha right here now look what I'm gonna do I am gonna take some rose water and everything I am eyeballing if you don't know what eyeballing is we are actually freelancing, no, freelancing, that's right. It. We're actually just using our discretion right here. So I'm using about a, a tablespoon or so of that fuller's earth. All right. And guess what I'm going to do next, guys? We are moving for some milk. And once again, we are going to give and take where the milk is concerned. So let's say I'm doing about a, a tablespoon or so of the milk. I'm sure we're going to need more. So just throw some milk in there okay yes guys I'm Jamaican so we speak like that sometimes just dry dash it in there all right so we are mixing up green matcha full as earth milk and some rose water but guess what we didn't put in which we are gonna go for right now and that is don't get scared guys oh let me rest this to the side and guess what we're gonna pour in now here comes the egg white yeah all of it one old egg white we are using today now what are you doing didn't you just say that fullest earth alone is good yes the fullest earth alone is good but we're taking things over the top today so we are just pulling out all of the stuff we're using everything egg milk all the good things that are known to help to tighten that skin and guess what just blend it blend up blend up blend up now make sure guys this is gonna take a while to blend Ooh. when you see those videos post guys you probably think it takes 10 minutes to make these things when you want to get a good blend like oh it's coming good look at that all right we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. So we're mixing that up. And I like to test it a little. Let's do a little test and see what happens. Ah, ah, looking amazing. Now tell me, guys, before I apply this to the skin, let me know, do you want me to apply it to my entire face or do you want me to apply it to half a side of the face? Comment like right now. I'm going to take five for you. The first five, if you said full face, I'll go full face. If the first five said half a face, I'll do half a face. Time is going and we need to have this on for a couple of minutes. So let's take the comment. Half, entire, half, entire. Come on, guys. Come on. Do a little more. Do a little more. I want five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. One. Oh, let's see who is the winner. It's very difficult, guys. Some people have, some people full. Okay, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. I think half wins. So we're going to do just half side of the face. And uh, oh my goodness, guess what, guys? Somebody didn't bring their brush. <laughs> anyway, guess what I have here? We're going to use this. I forget to bring the brush. And if it's, you know, Taking a while to apply, you know, good old me is gonna use the huh? today. I've applied Fuller's Earth egg white and glycerin, but did not get remarkable result. And the reason for that is because I'm assuming that you had some um, glycerin which is not spreadable. That's probably why you didn't get the amazing result. All right, guys, we're doing half. And if you notice, I'm applying this in upward strokes. Oh. Goodness, is it nice? Oh, ah, it's very difficult. Oh, guess what is on the hair? Natural hair. For those of you complaining that I'm always wearing a wig, should I take it off? Yes or no? <laughs> My hair is not even comb on the hair. So if I take it off right now, some of you will just run back. Ooh. All right, so we are packing this thing on the face. We're doing a half. If you're just joining in, we're using milk egg white matcha fuller's earth rose water 
to make this amazing facial mask. Now, we want this to dry a little before the show is over, so we are gonna show you how to lift and firm the skin. My brush should have moved much faster than this. Now, for someone asking about the under eyes, of course we're gonna go under it, and little old me don't even have a mirror to help me out today. You know what? Taking too long. Taking too long. It looked nicer with the spatula, but ooh, all right, all right, all right. All right, guys, what do you think so far? What do you think? Oh, guess what? Am I supposed to do the off side of neck and decollete too? Oh, no, I'm not taking off my clothes on camera. Why not? Half a side of the neck. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Look at, oh, half a side of the nose. I almost forget the nose. For those of you with a lot of pores and blackheads and all of that going on with the nose, guys, feel free to pack it on. Okay, whatever. Pack it on. I'm so concerned about this, so I want to get the full benefit. All right, guys, so there you have it. Half a side one. All right. All right, so. Now that we are wearing our facial mask, as you can see, look great so far. We are gonna leave that here. And hopefully, once you apply this, you're gonna leave it on. I normally say 30 minutes. Let's see how far we're gonna get with 30 minutes today for it to dry on the skin. Now, like me, I like to go a little longer, but let's see what's gonna happen today. So we have on our tightening, and I forget to show you what the side looked like before we apply the tightening, lifting, and firming facial mask. But, well, we, you know, you, 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 I'm not getting up any at all, so you definitely will see the result when I am done with this. Now, welcome to Let's Talk Skincare. We are doing skincare today in the form of lifting, firming, toning, you know, brightening and all that good stuff on the skin. Now, I'm gonna take a few questions. Any question about this mask that I'm wearing? Any ingredient that you think you would apply to this mask if you were making it today? Just let me know, what would you have changed and what would you have had to it to make it even better? Now, let me hear you guys come in. All right, so we have um, Mistress Notaya White put um, paper towel under the robe. Oh, someone is so concerned about, yes, 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 yes. Oh, da -da -da -da. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, two ends are better than one, always. And now I'm wearing a collar. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yes. Loving it. All right. So, Adi, do they sell matcha in USA? Yes, 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 yes. You can get it on Amazon, too. And I normally list it below in most of my videos. You'll see a link for the matcha. You're watching. You don't have matcha. Not to worry. Get yourself some green tea. Blend it to a powder and just use it to replace the matcha. Just double up on the amount. All right. So, we also have... Um, Grace Ford, did your voice change? Really? You think my voice changed? <laughs> In what way? Let me know. Is it like a good way or a bad way? But I wouldn't think so. All right. Asa, as H-A-F-S-A, my substitute for rose. Oh, any substitute for rose water. Yes. Green tea or some cucumber juice is perfect. Or some chamomile tea. That's good. Oh, look, I'm eating full of that part. That's good. All right, so let's see. If you have a substitute for something we use today, what would you take out and what would you put in? All right, so um, you're with Black Spot. You're in your 30s. Okay, so that is... Uh, okay, Linda, banana. So you would use banana instead of what? Would you use banana instead of the milk? Or would you use banana instead of the egg? We're using the egg for the tightening. We're using the, the fuller's earth for tightening. So those are two based ingredients that you could use either or either. So you definitely need a base. So if you're gonna use banana, it would mean that you're using banana with some egg, or you're using banana with some 
um, full as earth or you're adding banana to this mixture which is going to help to tighten and hydrate the skin even more however it's definitely is going to take a little longer to dry if you had the banana to this except Sean Santiago will the curd spoil my face I mean will I get wrinkled no guys we are getting rid of wrinkles right here we're lifting firming getting rid of wrinkles take a note of the ingredient the matcha is a wonderful wrinkle fighting ingredients in itself definitely the milk is gonna help to get rid of the wrinkles this is full of earth egg white milk rose water and what else did we put guys I think that is it now we are asking question what would you put in this what would you take out of this remedy and if you have ever tried anything like this before feel free to comment um, mall barns what kind of honey do you recommend for skin natural plain old honey best not best those that they get straight from the farm that's the best one if you buy store bought you got to be careful because sometimes they put a lot of sugar in it and you really do not want that the not more natural the better all right so you're saying you have small molds and i'm thinking that's what i was saying they're small mold or small skin tags all right trendy commodities what kind of milk is best fresh old raw unprocessed milk which most people don't have access to that i buy the milk at the grocery store and that's what i use the one that is going to go bad in seven days that's as fresh as i could get on um, for most people so definitely that milk if you're a vegan and you're trying to omit the milk go ahead and use some almond milk in this because almond is also good for the skin it's not a replacement for milk but you're gonna get a good result using the almond milk. Alexandria um, Volnia asks, "What is Fuller's Earth?" Twice you haven't explained. Okay, so Fuller's Earth is actually, and this is the best way I could explain it. This is a form of a clay, and they get this clay from the earth. The earth produces a lot of things. It produces oil. It produces um, clay, like Fuller's Earth. It also produces like minerals and golds and all of that kind of thing so this is something from the earth it's really dirt but a dirt that could clamp together guys if i'm explaining it the right way you know let me know and if you know of a better way to explain what is full as earth feel free to go and do it for me but that's the best i could give you it's actually some dirt special dirt with minerals and vitamins that you can use on your skin that for most people it won't irritate the skin all right okay all right so irana is it um Per permissible to talk after a plus no 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 and that is really really good especially when you are trying to tighten and firm the skin the less talking is better no I'm just like talking like talking today because I'm doing a show but on a regular you just put it on your skin like I did and you just sit back and relax close your eyes meditate or read a book but don't be like mm, 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 mm. it's gonna mess with you know the formation the tightening of, of the product so that's a very good question when you wear a tightening facial mask it's best not to talk a lot okay good question very very good question welcome to let's talk skincare guys if this is your first time joining in we talk about skincare and right right now we're doing a demonstration of a uh, matcha egg white um, rose water milk facial mask and we're doing half a side of the face and we're trying to go for at least 30 minutes to see it dry on the skin now what is happening right now right now I'm just feeling it like right here like it's like dragging right here but do I look swollen <laughs> I might not get the good result, the best result today since I'm talking a lot, but I'm definitely going to get some amazing result, guys. Okay? All right. So let's move on. Now, if you're just joining and you have a question, please feel free to comment. Aritina Brown, how often do you do this? Two to three times a week is best. If you're short on time, twice a week is good. However, when you use the egg, guys, when you use eggs in your remedies i suggest you use it up right away no more than three days 
okay? And three days is really pushing it. This is raw and you don't want to keep it long. So make, be mindful of that. So when you make a batch, just make enough to use once or twice. But using a mask like this, especially if you have sagging skin and you're looking to tighten and firm that skin, you use a mask like this at least two to three times per week. And also a facial scrub. You use a facial scrub two to three times per week. Very good question. Um, Pamela, how many times? Okay, I just answered that. Um, Kawajit Kar, can you use green tea instead of matcha? Give same result. Yes, so we just talked about that. The substitute for matcha is green tea, which matcha is actually a form of a green tea. Now, if you notice right here is drying a bit and this mask normally dry from the outer corner um, from my experience and take a look you can see it start to look a little white and that is what you need that's what happened when it is drying on the skin it gets white and before you know it it's you know grabbing that skin margaret i would like to omit the matcha green tea as i'm allergic the green tea leaves and itching on my eyes okay very good very good also so if you do not have green tea if you are allergic to matcha and green tea what is a good replacement now if you're allergic to green tea it's possible that you might be allergic to any form of a tea probably not a good substitute is cucumber cucumber will help it's just that for the cucumber, you gotta blend it, you gotta juice it, and you're gonna use the liquid. Another tea that you could use to replace the green tea is chamomile tea. If you are allergic to chamomile too, then fine, but you can also use that. Another wonderful, amazing ingredient that you can use to replace this matcha, you're gonna have to do more work, and that is parsley leaves, because parsley leaves help to clear the skin, spots, blemishes, it also helps to get rid of puffy on their eyes. So what you would do, you have to blend the parsley leaf, and I would suggest that you blend it with the milk, and then you use it in the fuller's earth or mix that with the egg white and use that on your skin all right really really good what you're looking for is anti-aging ingredient to add to the mat to the to the egg white and the fuller's earth all right so um um let's see what we have here aseptonia is fuller's earth plaster um of paris i think i don't um Paris mostly have like the green clay. I'm not sure if you could get um, Fuller's Earth out there without exporting. I'm not sure, but way in like India and all these places, they have an abundance of Fuller's Earth. Africa and these country produces a lot of these kind of a clay that they use for facial, okay? All right, I hope I answer your question. Ruth Bradley, do you think you could freeze this mask be great if you could freeze it in the ice cube tray. You can actually freeze this mask, but you cannot after this because it have the fullest earth. The fullest earth is very very absorbing. Okay. Now if you freeze this, it's gonna be like a flaky. So when you um, I'm just concerned about the absorbing properties of the fullest earth. That is like you are freezing. Um, it's probably good freeze. I'm actually going to give it a try and see what happens. However, when it comes down to the egg, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure freezing the egg on the fullest earth. I'm not sure. But I have some left over here. And guess what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to put it in a little zip blocker, not the ice tray, because I would have to use an entire ice tray for this. I'm going to freeze it, and next week I'm going to come back and tell you if it works, okay? Apparently, when you freeze it, you would have to defrost it before you could use it as a facial mask. So we'll see what happens. I'm definitely going to do that and come back instead of trying to figure out if it can work, yes or no. Now, welcome to Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. If you're just joining us, we are basically doing a live demonstration of a tightening facial mask. And Let's Talk Skincare, what we do, we talk about skincare, new invention, and all of that good stuff in the world of skincare. We also take questions and we also do shout outs. So welcome. Now, if you jo join us and you so far like the chat, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I 
always try to get at least a hundred thumbs up to know that you really like the Let's Talk skincare series so that we could continue. It's a series, so you know, we could stop it whenever we feel like, but if I'm getting the response that I need from you guys, then we definitely will go ahead and you know keep you know researching and finding out what is going on in the skincare world. Uh, Pamela, Pamela, um, is it good to use organic honey and face daily before bought? No, there are a lot of products out there on the market using honey. Well, years ago, people used to go crazy about using honey on the skin. To answer your question, I'm gonna tell you, it depends on your skin type, your skin. If you use something on your skin and it's doing wonders, then oh my face is tightening. Ooh, take a look at oh, I'm feeling this nice. Look, guys, you see, this is actually starting to dry on my skin. I'm watching my time. I hope that in 20 minutes it will be dry. It's starting to dry right around and right around here. And what is happening is tightening. I'm feeling it grabbing my skin. And I know I shouldn't be talking, but you know, I got to talk. But oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I'm looking, check out this deep line right here and check this one out. This is what I'm focusing on more than anything else. As I said, my result might not be good with all this talking, but definitely, definitely it is grabbing my skin right now. I'm feeling it, feeling it. Cassidy, what do you feel about using charcoal as an ingredient to detoxify? I use charcoal and I also have some charcoal remedy on this channel however i don't know why but when i make charcoal videos people don't watch it i don't know people just i don't know but i personally use a charcoal and i like me a good charcoal mask you know what could work wonders mix that charcoal with some egg white and that's something to think about so definitely i have no problem using charcoal and i do use a charcoal all right so um google okay all right yes um roots we did that donna anderson i purchased fuller's earth from amazon very good all right so we also let me guys if you are commenting and i'm not answering is because they're very selective in the comments that i see in my view normally when i'm done i go back i look and i see like a whole also comment that i didn't see in my view but you guys could see so i think if you want your comment to come up on top so i could see it i guess you make the sentence a little longer i'm not sure or just keep commenting and then i think it will you know put your comment in my view view but i don't see all the comments and i just want you guys to know that sometimes i'm even searching and when the show is over it's like so much comment that i didn't see all right guys so we are tightening and firming the skin all right mm -hmm. i'm loving this loving this now we're taking questions guys if you have tried this combination before leave a comment if you have tried something similar to what we're using today leave a comment i'm also asking what is it that you would change in this cassidy my first time seeing you live milk egg white matcha powder so far i love your video thank you so much for that lily tasha the mask is good for oily skin yet oh i totally forget that for those of you out there, especially those of you who have all these blackheads and whiteheads and oily skin going on, this is for you guys. This is for you. This um, fullest earth is absorbing and it's really good for oily skin. It's going to soak up all of that and it's going to also help to clean that pores out and leave your skin amazing. Now, if you have dry skin, this is good for you. Remember, we're using the egg, which is on the rose arm water, which is going to hydrate the skin. However, to be honest with you, Fuller's Earth is so dry to the skin that for dry skin people, when you are finished with this facial mask, you're going to use a good oil, like a good rose hip oil or any of your favorite oil or a good moisturizer on the skin. Now, for my neck, guys. My neck is feeling good right now. I'm feeling the tightness of my neck. Mm. This is drying and the time is going. We have about 15 minutes more and I hope we get a more drying effect. You can see it right here. 
but I want it to dry like really, really dry completely for you guys to see. But we have more time. We are moving on. All right, so let's go back to the chat. And I hope someone answered a question. Maria Budunon. I love you and love you right back. Stella Natif. Hello, Chichi. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Dilly Dally. Dilly Dally. What is that on your face? Sorry, I'm late. So what is on my face right now? If you're late, we have a facial mask going on. It's a tightening facial mask that we made right here, right at the beginning of the show. We made this. We have egg white. We have green tea, which is in the form of a matcha. We also have milk. We have rose water. And did I miss anything? I think that's what is in here. Now we are doing half a side of the face because we're trying to lift, tighten, and firm the skin right in your face. However, we're a little late because I'm not sure if we're gonna get the 30 minutes to dry, but so far we are drying up nicely. Our forehead is drying, my skin is feeling great, tight and firm, and if I stop talking and come close, you could actually see that it's working already. Just take a look. Remember the crease I was showing you? I didn't move and I'm talking a lot. The deep crease I was showing you here, you decide for yourself if you think it's slowly going. I'm trying to do this, but it's not working out. All right, so I'm not supposed to be doing all of that, guys, just so you know. All right, so, um, Bradley, you didn't say anything why they block your comment, but your comment is blocked. Anyway, all right, how to make rose water. To make your homemade rose water, get yourself some rose petal, and you're just gonna steam it. Hot water, boiling water, throw the rose petal in it, turn off the stove, cover, and let it seep overnight is best. Strain in the morning, and you get rose water. Now, if you're gonna make rose water, however, be mindful. Do not use the roses that you get from your flower shop because those are sprayed to keep them longer, to preserve them. But if you have a rose or you're going to buy organic roses, which some people have access, some don't. Or if you like live in a place where you have your wonderful garden with no form of a chemical and you have your rose plant, you can go pick those leaves. Those are the best, all natural, and those are organic. And you do the same. You just brew it almost like a tea, cover it, strain it off, and put it in your refrigerator. And there you got natural homemade rose water. You can put stuff to it, like a little bit of vegetable glycerin, that is going to let it last you longer than seven days. Okay, so there is you how you have your natural rose water all right so cindy de Sousa, hello chichi how are you doing well miriam oh 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 poco thank you sister jewel wears how to use green tea and green tea face wash green tea facial toner after i remove this facial mask from my face i'm gonna be applying a facial toner and i'll make my own facial toner one of my favorite is rice water mixed with some star anise a little bit of a vegetable glycerin i like to use that on my face with a little bit of a rose water you can make your own and this is let's talk skincare so you definitely could go out and buy yourself a rose water you choose whichever you prefer if you're joining in we're doing a facial mask and my mask is drying as you can see and this is what's gonna happen when you use this mask on the skin it's gonna dry on the skin completely dry on the skin normally i said at least 30 minutes 30 minutes to 45 minutes it should be dry you should be feeling tightening going on on the skin and what is going to happen you should relax your face with it and not talk as much as i'm talking and before you know it you're going to get that instantly you're looking to go to a wedding you're looking to go visit the in-laws for the first time you want to look really good your face should look good because first impression especially if you're liking the person a lot now you are looking to go to a school reunion you're looking to go to church on sunday you want to look fresh you want to look amazing this is one mask that you can use 
on your skin that is really gonna give you fast result you know almost instant result once you go through the process of making it and keeping it on your face at least 30 minutes now if you want to take this mask off before 30 minutes you're still gonna get amazing results from it but if you're looking for the tightening and the firming and the lifting and that instant lift on your skin you definitely should leave it on for 30 minutes now I'm just gonna make a little thing right here let me she's right below here to show you guys something she's been right here so right there is not yet dry but my lighting is not giving me the effect that I want so I'm gonna cover it back up it's not dry it is dry but I want to tell you that you can also get a moisturized and a radiance glow from this mask and take a look right here that little patch you can see and look at the rest it's hard to tell on the camera right now with this lighting but definitely if you're short on time you oh i'm ruining it guy you can um still you know get that benefit so you guys know that this part is not gonna dry oh it's such a wonderful thing that i did this now guys this is the little part that i just patched on my skin you can see the difference from the areas that is already processing right you can see the big difference when we apply it, it looked like right here. And now that it is drying, you can see the difference in color. All right. So this is a demonstration. So don't, you know, attack me for ruining, you know, especially the place that we're looking to live at. So sorry, I'm a little excited and I see the time going and it's like I can't wait. All right, guys. So we're going to take some questions and hopefully in the next 10 minutes, we're going to have more drying effect. But you get the gist, Jeff, it gist. If we don't get it all completely dry in the, you know, I should have started like right on top of the show, but we didn't. We went on for about 20 minutes in the show, but we'll see. But definitely I'm feeling good right now. Um, Shaheen, what what we can use as present um, presentation chemical to preserve the herbal home made products? Okay. I normally recommend um, vegetable glycerin. And one of the reasons why we don't preserve the homemade stuff like using any form of a chemical in it, because that is what we preach, that we're trying to get rid of all the preservatives, the additives, and all of that you know, stuff that they use to make it store-bought. So we try to stay away from it. But stuff like vegetable glycerin, and I have other ingredients, but they are chemical-based that I would not recommend since we're trying to do natural stuff on this channel and also a lot of since this is let's talk skincare there's a lot of facial products and a lot of um new products on the market these days that do not have uh you know uh that kind of a chemical preservative in it and i definitely will come back with some names for you i'm going to make sure those that i give you is all natural but i personally use a lot of vegetable glycerin and sometimes a little vitamin mine okay all right so what are your what do you think guys do you think that this is doing a good job are you liking this facial mask do you think that this facial mask is something that you would want to try mumi mui mohi mui barnes or barnes i read that you i read that you if you bought store bought Roses, you can wash the pesticide off with apple cider vinegar or baking soda or soak them in the solution to rinse off pesticide. I kind of believe that. And the reason why is because, for instance, like lemon, when you buy lemon, uh, it's, they're not like organic lemon. You actually soak them in vinegar and rinse, and then it's good. So most likely... You probably, that is probably a wonderful idea. However, the rose petals are so delicate that mm, I'm not sure, but you are onto something right there. It's possible that that could work, but you have to be like really, really gentle with the rose petal. I've never done it before, but the fact that you can do it to lemons and fruits and all of that, it's probably, you know, good to do on the flower. Now for flowers though, Please know that when they get the cut flowers, they pour the flowers mixture that is going to keep it long, and that is absorbed right up the stem, okay? So right into the leaves 
through the 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 the, the, the root of the stem. So all of that pesticide is really in the flowers itself. If you know what I mean. When you put the flowers in a vase and you come back and the vase is off, that is because the flower is drinking all up. So the pesticide and all of that stuff that they put in that water to preserve it is still up in there. So, you know, very iffy. But if you want to give that a try, why not? Why not? It's, you know, it's not a far fetch. John Walker, I would definitely try it. Thank you. And thank you for that. Donna, definitely will try it. Thank you for that. Um, Kawati, does ibiscus flowers really work as as Botox flowers? I tried it before, and uh, I tried it along with some um, egg white, and you know the egg white is gonna do its number on the skin also. But ibiscus is good. I actually went all the way to France to learn that ibiscus was good that years ago. Okay, because it's good to detox the body also, and a lot of people are not aware. So now you could find ibiscus tea and all of that, you know, a wide variety of products. And you also have a lot of manufacturers of skincare products that is using the ibiscus. So definitely an uh, uh, ingredient to look into. Guys, no joke. We are checking this out. It's still it's so tight on my skin. But check out my, um, what do you call this again? <laughs> Check out my cheekbones, okay? This is this one here, and yes, it do look, you know, a little goodish, but this one look more fat right now. I'm getting that, you know, what people would think that I go and do something to it before I apply this. I didn't. Up close, guys, look. This is definitely looking more plump than this one right now. No joke. I hope you could see. I hope it's coming across on camera. All right, and it is drying, but we're moving on. We're hoping that it's gonna dry in a couple of minutes. We're taking question. Can I apply a mask every day? You have a mask that you can apply on your skin for three minutes, or you have three minute facial mask, you have five minutes, you have 10 minutes, you have 15 minutes. So depending on the facial mask, you can apply a three minute facial mask daily, and it normally will be written on the facial mask that you can use this daily. So yes, you can use those every day if you so choose. For masks like this, that is so you know involved, and so you know that you really want all these amazing results, I suggest that you do two to three times a week the most. For those of you with upper lip wrinkles going on, definitely a must for your upper lips. It's going to have to get rid of the wrinkles. For those of you with wrinkles right here, right there, oh, I shouldn't do that. Oh, tight. Woo, 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 woo. Hi, hi, tight. I hope I don't crease it, guys. Look, <laughs> creasing it. Woo. I shouldn't. Anyway, guys, this is just for me. When you do yours, don't do the things I'm doing right now. All right? All right. Um. <laughs> Karen, what is it you're saying? You of all person know that. Karen is saying there won't be much effect because your skin is already great. But Karen is like one of my die audience subscribers. So she know the journey to get my skin where it is today she already knows so she's just playing with me right now all right i know i know what you're saying Ooh. oh my goodness it's tight nice all right guys friday afternoon tomorrow guys try this facial mask if you're just joining in let me do a quick review if you're just joining in we are doing a live demo of lifting and firming the skin we're short in time we're not getting our mask to dry as this is the first time for me now i know that next time i should put the mask on like in the first 15 minutes of the show um you know i learn but we use some fullest earth in this facial mask we use some matcha powder we also use some egg white in this and we also use some rose water and we use some milk fresh milk so these are the ingredients we use if you want to see the beginning 
of the show when it's finished and post you go and watch it we do everything right there and now we're waiting for it to dry which we should you know have it dried in like 30 minutes but little old me first time didn't even think about it that i should have applied like at least a 15 minutes in the show but you guys get the drifts of it and you guys know that it's supposed to dry on the skin so what i'm gonna do tara g hi everybody margaret have you ever tried neem powder i've not tried the neem powder but i certainly tried the neem oil and i'm also using that neem oil mixed with some sesame seed oil on my skin amazing no joke amazing all right so john um walker that is i definitely need to use more natural things on my face as it become very dry more crow's feet my skin look dull tired and starting to notice more lines on my forehead guess what it's all about dedication john and i'm talking to you right now john an easy way to erase all of that is to exfoliate your skin two to three times per week and i have a lot of wonderful exfoliator on my channel i'm actually going to post a video i have it to post today i didn't because i was preparing this but i might post it after the show a good thing to use a draw on is get some rice okay you blend the rice and because you want more granules in it, you have like a two spoons of two tablespoons of rice, a tablespoon of brown sugar. You can choose to use some milk in it. You can choose to use some some citrus fruit, like some orange or some grapefruit, since you're looking to brighten that skin. You can even choose to use a um, little bit of uh, cucumber in it, and you exfoliate your skin with that. That you can make and keep in your fridge for seven days. Two to three times a week you exfoliate that skin and when you are done exfoliating pot dry the skin you can use your store-bought products moisturizer facial serum or you can use some of my wonderful oil blend or you can just use some coconut oil some olive oil whichever oil you have and come back next week just try it this week and come back next week and i bet you're gonna tell me oh my skin start to look better already it's like a no joke okay now guys i have something to tell you about this facial mask after you remove this mask, you want to remove this with warm water or room temperature water, okay? So you don't have hot water in your pipe, that's okay. The room temperature water is going to do. And the reason why we say room temperature, because if you live somewhere like, you know, where it's very, very cold, you know cold water is ice water, basically. You don't, no, 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 not the ice water room temperature water okay so you have to either run the pipe off a little till it's halfway between hot and cold and if you live somewhere no hot water most time the water is just right room temperature water so you rinse that off and then you're going to pat dry the skin once you pat dry the skin you are going to spritz on whatever facial toner that you use on the skin and guess what you're going to apply a facial serum or a facial moisturizer now guys i don't have any of that right here but what you're going to do when you are applying the facial moisturizer and i'm doing this on the alpha side of my face just so you guys to know after you do this facial mask you're gonna just lift massage the skin so you're gonna help it okay so you're gonna massage the skin by just lifting the skin just lift all and right at the temple right here right there so you just lift all a couple of minutes oh i have much all over me and lift all and that is you applying your moisturizer or your facial serum. Now, if you practice to apply your facial products in this manner, guys, believe it or not, you are going to be amazed at the result you get. Instead of just patting it in and leaving it, whenever you apply anything on your face that you're going to leave on, you just lift and hold. Just massage it in upward strokes. Just massage, lift, and hold. And just with the neck, you do it upwards like this, okay? So that's what you do on a daily. And before you know it, people is going to be like, oh, so you get something done. Look at this simple little thing I just did right here. Oh, oh, look. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Let me stop talking. Check this out. The lighting. I'm not seeing, I don't know if you guys could see, but definitely something is going on and our mask is drying nicely. So, back to applying facial stuff to your skin serum, moisturizer. Always do a little lifting. For those of you with deep forehead wrinkles, if you just practice to just lift and all, lift and all, lift and all, 
do it as often as you can you are gonna you know come back and say you know that really worked all right auntie you must not talk with the mask on it will not give you good result but this just the show but you should talk for best result okay i yes i think we did mention at the top of the hour that the mask when you apply this mask on your skin you're not supposed to be talking chatting and carry on like i am doing but because we're doing a live show and you know little old me i have to talk to keep the show going so i'm talking but on a regular when you're doing it at home less talking all right somebody cassie t she recommends steaming washing your face prior to the mask with warm milk with a washcloth some rose water she made a mask with fuller's earth one tablespoon mix one tip oh thank you so much cassie all right good so we have james um marbury something that's milk it is a mixture of milk just read cassie comment all right so live 24 okay what's the best ingredient for pitted skin the best ingredient is to exfoliate so ingredients is always going to be a mixture of things and then make a good oil a good oil combined depending on your skin type whether you want a heavier oil or a lighter oil depending on your skin type you use grapeseed oil olive oil i actually have a video up with um pitted skin i have a video up with strawberry legs if you are done you could go and you could check that combination out that's really really good trendy comment it is can we use coconut oil or yogurt all right if you notice i did not use any oil in this facial mask and the reason why i don't use an oil in it is because when you mix a fuller's earth with oil it really don't spread the way you would want it it's gonna be more like in a ball just as if you mix um avocado with the fuller's earth because that's something i tried it can you know go on but it's not spreadable because it's too fat the fat and the fullest earth don't work well so what i tend to do i use water-based um products to mix this fullest earth with however you can choose to drop a drop or two of the coconut oil or you know what other oil you recommend you just spoke about but definitely go easy because it's not going to spread the way you would want it to spread for the to get a good result from it blossom oil i have oily skin guess what blossom this is for you this is like the perfect mask for oily skin and when you're done you could go back and watch you know if you're late where we go in details about this mask with oily skin navi dungeed n-a-v-e-d please make DIY vitamin C serum. All right, guys. Um, vitamin C serum. I, I do have a couple on the chat. However, they are ingredients that, like you know, lemon zest and stuff like that. As you all know, that real vitamin E is C is very delicate and it's easy to go bad. It's easy, you know, to change the 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 whole um, composition of the vitamin. EC and you don't get results and most company out there making vitamin C products is a little mindful of it so now they're trying to make it into like powder to add the oils to it and all of that very very you know but I definitely will make a new vitamin C serum for you guys all natural ingredient all right trendy commodity coconut milk what is it about coconut milk all right so um let's see what i miss up here we also have um great can you please post the ingredient all right yes i definitely will post it and the the um the full recipe under this video when the show is over and so now guys i think we're wearing this mask on the face at least if you're watching still maybe we're wearing it about what 25 to 30 minutes right now and as you can see it's not completely dry but we're getting there i personally is gonna sit with this on my skin to let it completely dry i know that it's just a half a side remedy today i want to use this to freeze so <laughs> i'm at a loss now what to do but i really want to get you know to do my other side but um anyway i'll freeze it i'll make another batch for myself and use you know all over my face when i'm done with this if you're just joining in welcome to let's talk skincare with chichi beauty and uh, we are talking about facial masks that can instantly lift and brighten the skin lift and firm the skin instant facelift if 
you're, you know, looking to do something, go somewhere, you know, have your skin looking amazing. Also, if you're already watching and you have not yet thumbs the video up, please thumbs the video up for us to know that you really enjoy this session, this segment, and also you enjoy watching Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. Right now we are at 96 and we're hoping to get this to at least 100, guys. Why do we talk about thumbs in the video up? That's the only way for me to know that you guys like the series, okay? I cannot know if you like it without the thumbs up. Most people watch after it's post. So for those people, you know, they'll thumbs it up, but for live, the live chat, we want to see that you enjoy the live chat also. All right, guys. So now we are, we have to wrap up. We're over an hour. But as you can see, what is going to happen to this facial mask is that the entire face is going to be dried like this. Should be at least 30 to 45 minutes. All of this is going to be completely dry. And you can see the neck. And then I'm going to rinse this off with some room temperature water, preferably. And then I'm going to pat dry the skin and apply my favorite toner serum and moisturizer now i wish you know i was able to take this off now we're gonna try to do something right it's not gonna come off like this anymore because it's dry on the skin see it's not right now it's not gonna happen but we're trying that thing right now it's not gonna happen and what I'm doing is not good, so don't do this. When you apply this on your skin, don't try to force it off. That is a no-no, just rinse it off, okay? I just wanted to take it off, just a little part for you guys to see, which is a no-no of what I'm doing. And time is up, and this is why we are doing this. But you can see my skin pick up away through, and as Karen said, the result is not gonna be amazing because my skin is already, but definitely I want to see you guys to see what I was talking about with the crease right here since time is up. Don't do this, guys. Rinse it off, okay? And let it dry on your skin. Don't take it off midway like I'm doing right here. I'm just trying to get, you know, a little result right here for you guys to see. Not coming off. It definitely need to wash off. But so far, look, I just make a mess. I talk a lot and I do a lot for the hour I'm here, but take a look guys, see how deep, and if you watch on the top of the hour, you definitely will see this result. See how deep this was and this was the same. Now, I'm still talking, but look. I'm trying to get it out for you to see. Now, what do you think guys? Do you see any difference with the laugh line tell me if you don't see any difference say it but if you definitely see some form of a difference if you see that the laugh line has diminished somewhat please comment let me hear what you guys have to say in my views that i'm looking at i could see a huge difference in the laugh line and i talk my way right through so look tell me guys And that's it. So just imagine I'm sitting with this a longer. Look, side views. See that? Next side. A huge difference. I see different. Do you see any change? And if you watch from the top of the hour, I'm almost sure you're going to say, yes, there's a big change in, you know, the laugh line has decreased tremendously too. Now, this is not permanent, guys. I want to make this clear. This is not permanent. However, if you continue to do this on a regular, it means that you're going to walk around with your face looking amazing. Just with anything that you do to your skin, you have to always, always be doing it. This is temporary, but with continuous you know, use and with you know taking care of your skin, you will notice your skin look amazing. Ooh, nice, dry and nice. Your skin will look amazing and you will be looking great, younger, fresher looking skin. I am trying to get the good lighting for you. Look. See for yourself, guys. 
in spite of me not completely taking it off, in spite of me talking right throughout the video. And not only, guys, not only is the laugh line, you know, diminished somewhat, but definitely you could see uh, this side of my face look a little more rosy, like more even. I should probably use the word more even than the other side. And I make a mess. I'm roughing my skin up, which is a no-no for you guys. So there you have it, guys. I definitely know I have to go for those people who are going to watch the show after. So definitely give this a try. And if you want to see more of these live demonstration, feel free to comment so we could come with, you know, more ingredients. Also, guys, I'm going to throw something out there for you. What we want to do with this show, Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty, we are going to have a series within a series where you're going to recommend either a fruit, a vegetable, or an ingredient, and you're going to challenge me to make something from it. Make it on the show, use it live, and see what result we get. So if you have an ingredient that you are curious to know, what I would use it and how I would use it, we're going to have that series coming up, and that is going to be within this slot. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely go ahead, comment, send an email, and always email chichibeauty at gmail.com. If you're going to send an ingredient you want us to try, you got to put in the, in the subject line, try this ingredient. And we'll do it. We'll take it. We'll get it, and you're going to see what I could do with it live in front of your eyes. Definitely, I won't be sitting down. I will be standing up. But that is something that someone, you know, suggests that we do on this channel. And that's something that sounds really, really wonderful. And hopefully, we'll get guests also to help to try whatever it is that we are doing. Amina, Ramli, definitely interested in that series. And I already have a foot in my way to go. The Kiwi, all right. So, I miss Natoya. Okay, sound great. Show. Yuzma, U-Z-M-A. I-G-G, is the mask good for dry skin? Yes, yes, yes. We just spoke about that. And we also mentioned that after the mask, after the mask for dry skin, you are going to, Hydrates the skin with a good facial toner, a serum, and a moisturizer. Lerbert, happy Friday and a great weekend. Chip, cheetah, blah, 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 blah. And all who are live today, I'm late. Yes, you are live. Late, 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 late. James, half face for comparison. Linda, um, trying it tonight. Trendy communities, thank you for the great tips. De um, Deloris, hello, Deloris, how are you doing? And I'm um, going to try this piece. Are you okay? Yes, I am okay. I look like I'm not okay. Yes, I am. I'm, you know, enjoying my little half. Hey, Madeline, where were you? I just see you, you know, on the chat. Guys, my time is up. Lovely spice. Does this tingle? Can you feel it getting fuller? Yes. And I mentioned that halfway. Not only this is it tingling, it is like grabbing the skin. You can feel, you know, like um, somebody take your face and do it like this, like they're grabbing it up. That's what I'm feeling right now. That's the sensation you're feeling. And you feel like half of your side face is like, you know, getting bigger. That's the feeling. But not to worry. That it is. That is it working on the skin. Really an amazing experience when you use this a facial mask. Really, really an amazing experience, guys. Do not be afraid to try it. And if you do not have all the ingredients, you just substitute thing. If you're vegan, you know, don't use the milk. Use something else, some almond oil. Um, not almond oil, almond milk. If you do not want to use egg, just use the fullest earth alone with the other ingredient. Just make it your own and give it a try. And definitely, as I said, you're going to get basically an instant result. However, it is not permanent, but it is good enough to take you to the choir practice when you want to show off. It's good enough to go to Sunday church. It's good enough to um, go meet the in-laws. It's good enough to go to your daughter's wedding or your friend's wedding. It's good enough for a reunion. It's just good enough for just that instant lift that you want. And if you do it on a regular, then you definitely will walk around with your skin looking great. Now, guys, 
I gotta go. <laughs> you guys know I gotta go. I could sit here. I, I so want this to dry completely today, but time is of essence. So we gotta go. I love you guys. Thumbs the video up. Comment, comment, comment. Let me know if you enjoy this, and also let me know if you want more of these kinds and type of video. Have a great weekend. Have a great evening, morning. Just take care of yourself. Do something good for yourself this week, and I'll see you. This is what I'm talking about. Up close. And I see you next week, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another in our series, Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. Oh, so I'm going to be walking around this evening with half of my face up and half down. I probably will have to just do some massages on this side to match it up. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good evening. Chichi, I've been able to make my sister so happy with your ideas. Thank you so much for that. Emily Ernest, hello. Welcome. You are so late. Good brother. Thank you so much. Um, good evening. Bye, guys. I got to go, guys. I got to go. I got to go. That was the best I could do. Next time when I come back for a live, you know, demo like this, I'm definitely going to you know, start the application early on the top. So by the time it gets to the end, it's dry and I will be able to wash it up. But so far it's not bad. Really, you know, not too bad today, but you get the gist. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye guys. You know something off late when i'm done with my show sometime i can't find the um, <laughs> the button because i'm on a new screen and i'm trying to find the button to um okay i think i get it now so still not there still not there and uh, oh here it is here it is bye 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 guys Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes. I think my thing is frozen. Mm -hmm. Got it in my screen. I think my computer is frozen. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure if we are, you know, still recording. However, I'm still enjoying my facial mask. So I'm just going to sit and wait a little to see what is happening or until it come back from being frozen. Totally, like, totally um, froze. However, I, okay, here it is. So. Good. So guys, you see what was happening? My computer froze like, like just, ooh, I guess it want me to continue to show you guys what is there. Anyway, I gotta go. I love you guys. Uh, YouTube said, don't go. I guess that what is this happening? It probably need me to show the full, you know, result of this facial mask. So there it is. It's still there and I'm still enjoying it. So I got to go guys. This time I definitely go. I love you guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.